the hard-working confectioner. A long time ago, in a town, there lived Mandy, a confectioner whose candies and cakes were famous all over town, especially her strawberry and chocolate cupcakes. Mandy would open her bakery very early and sell only the freshest cakes made with the best ingredients. If any cakes were left at the end of the day, she would distribute them free of cost to children and make fresh ones the next day. People would throng to her little confectionery shop. Truly, Mandy, your cupcakes are so good. My son wants only your cupcakes for his birthday. Thank you so much. And here are two extra cupcakes for you on your birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, and thank you, Auntie. Right opposite her shop was Barney's sweet shop. Barney was lazy. He would see customers lining up for Mandy's cakes and feel jealous. If her business continues growing like this, no one will come to my bakery. Must do something. So Barney thought of a scheme to get more customers to come to his shop. Two cupcakes for the price of one. Two cupcakes for the price of one. Some customers from Mandy's shop went to Barney's, but soon they went back to Mandy. Two cupcakes for the price of one. Barney, somehow the taste of your cupcakes is not as good as Mandy's. Even if you have priced them so low, your cakes are just not fresh enough. Sorry. One day, a nobleman came to Mandy's shop. Are you the famous confectioner, Mandy? Yes. How may I help you? My son had your chocolate cupcakes at a friend's birthday, and he insists that he wants those for his own birthday party. That would be an honor, sir. Why don't you sample a cake and decide whether you would like them? Ah, oh, that would be great. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Mm, these are delicious! I would certainly like them for the party. I am so glad! How many would you like and when is the birthday? The party is on Saturday, three days from now. Could you send about a hundred cakes to my home? I will have the cakes ready and sent to you by three o'clock on Saturday. Mandy worked really hard and prepared a hundred cupcakes. On the other hand, Barney heard about the massive order Mandy had got and decided to spoil it. If the nobleman at the king's court likes her cakes, nobody will ever come to my bakery. I must spoil her order. So that night, when Mandy had got all the cakes ready, Finally, all the hundred cakes are done. I shall reach them to the nobleman's home first thing in the morning. You will send the cakes only if they still exist in the morning. The next morning, when Mandy came to her shop, she was shocked to see her cakes eaten by mice. Goodness! How did this happen? What am I going to do now? The cakes are due in three hours! Mandy was really worried. Just then, Barney got there. What happened, Mandy? Why are you so worried? You! You never open your bakery this early. What are you doing here? I have a delivery of cupcakes today at the nobleman's house. <gasps> oh, you stole the cupcakes!
cupcakes from my shop. Everything is justified in business. <laughs> now Mandy was really angry. She would not let Barney get away with this. But what could she do? She suddenly got an idea. She quickly went into the kitchen of her shop. And three hours later, this is what she came up with. Look, Mother! A cake that looks like a castle! A castle cake! I want one! Wow, what a beautiful looking cake! Did you make it on your own? Yes! So Mandy delivered a cake like no one had seen before to the nobleman's home. Oh, what a beautiful cake! Thank you! I know you wanted cupcakes, but I thought of making something special for your birthday. I, I love it! And now Mandy was famous not only for her cupcakes, but also for the beauty of her cakes. And she started receiving even more orders than before. In a helpless situation, Mandy did not lose her calm, and using a bit of creativity, she changed it to emerge even more successful than before. <laughs>